he's a great player. Clemson won the toss and deferred. BT Potter touchback, a threat to run as well. They open in the shotgun. Schrader showing that running ability right away. And a quality gain on first down. He got 11. Has been remarkable. Both of those coaches came over from Virginia. And they led one of the best offenses in the country last year. Schrader sacked. There are flags down. Performance last Saturday night at Florida State. Yeah, he beats the left tackle. Bergeron, the best offensive lineman up there for Syracuse. And Garrett Schrader held that ball too long. He cannot hold the ball that long against this defensive front of Clemson. I think Dino Babers like the call. Third down and seven. Here's Schrader again. And a first down. Five plays, four runs. And the one short swing pass. They throw that again to Tucker, and he's dumped. For no gain, perhaps even a loss. Justin Maskell, part of that deep defensive front. Miles Murphy and Brian Brzee is two of the top eight players in next year's NFL draft. The other side for Tucker. Sean Tucker did not get to the first down marker. Needed the 25. He'll have him out at about the 27. Four and a half minutes in. On fourth and three, deflected pass, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Devon Cooper, and it was deflected out of the air. Expected to get into the low 70s. DJ Uyunglele looking deep. Has a man deep. Dan Allen, the tight end, split the middle of the secondary. Play for Clemson, and they are racing to the line of scrimmage to snap it again. Well, they faked the little shoulder fake by DJ. Per game, much better player than a year ago with a much better offense around him, and the two go hand in hand. Molly mentioned Isaiah Johnson, the transfer from Dartmouth. No Garrett Williams for Syracuse. A big blow, ripping up the middle. Phil Maffa, who's the backup running back. Tough situation for this Syracuse defense right out of the gate. Shipley again. Touchdown, Clemson. Catch to first play. Watch him here. This is what he's known for as a blocking tight end. This really clears the way for Shipley. Shipley gets right on his back. 20 career rushing touchdowns, and this is his 18th game. He missed three last year due to injury as a true freshman. Went for it on fourth and three for going a 46-yard field goal. And did not get it. Garrett Schrader throwing on target. And a nice catch. For zone. He recognizes zone defense, so he just finds the hole. And he shows his number. Sean Tucker, the running back, their second leading receiver. Plenty of time for Schrader and another catch by Gadsden. Including perhaps their biggest of the season, a 25-yard catch with seven seconds left to beat Purdue in the dome. Good throw by Schrader. And the orange inside the 15-yard line on a catch by Devon Cooper. For Schrader, watch how much time he has. He's going to look to Gadsden first on a little bit of a an out and up. It's not there. He comes back to the back side. Syracuse on the move for the second time. They're trying for Tucker. He's open on a wheel route and has a touchdown. Because they've been running a lot of just flat routes. This time he's going to turn up and it's a defensive end, K.J. Henry, who's in coverage. They've been running just flat route, flat route. Now he turns up. And K.J. Henry is beat right away. No chance. That's a mismatch in favor of Syracuse and the perfect time to change that route. Robert and I has done such an outstanding job finding a way to get the ball into the hands of Syracuse's best playmaker. As we've said a couple of times, a step up in competition here today. Just their second road game of the season. Louis Angelove. Lighter, more agile, more confident. And gainer of a first down, including each of the last 10. Play clock running out. Third down and two. They just did get it off. In the flat, caught first down. Out to the 35-yard line. It's Williams, one of the rising stars in coaching. Here's Shipley trying to get outside to the left. He can do it inside and outside. He has a first down in Syracuse territory.
Simmons. Well, the only way is they run this outside. Watch number six, E.J. Williams, the wide receiver, get a block. The only way you can run on the perimeter is if your wide receiver is blocked. That time it's going to give up some big plays. Out of the pistol now, the keep by Uyunglele, and he gets dropped at the 40, short of the first down. In situations like this. Uyunglele pitches it out wide, first down, Mafa. Avoided a tackle right at the line to gain on third down and eight. Uyunglele, plenty of time, and it is intercepted. Was he in bounds is the question. Yes, say the officials. The and Jihad Carter read that perfectly. There's the foot down, actually two feet down. They had Schrader sacked and they couldn't get him onto the ground. He takes off running, he has a long way to go. He's going to get nowhere near the 25. Max von Marburg on to punt for the first time. And a good one. Sends Will Taylor back near his 40. Gets away from several Syracuse coverage men. Looked like he go down right on the catch. He gave it the ball 26 times last week. Ian Maffa, nice combo. Well, Maffa, 6 one 2 30, powerfully built, but has speed. No penalty. You saw the tape of Chestnut jogging off. Pressure, good call against the pressure. It's a screen to Shipley. And a first down against Louisville. Terry Lockett was the starter on the defensive line. Phil Maffa trying to get the first down yardage at the 13. Maffa goes in motion. They swing it out wide to him. Has blockers. Maffa inside the five. And it looks like another Clemson first down. Maffa the running back. And Ball's out. It's Jahad Carter, and nobody is going to catch him. There are no flags on the play. Touchdown, Syracuse. 90 yards. Hesitated. Watch the mesh point between he and Maffa. He's got to make a decision. Either give it to Maffa or keep it. Held it in there too long, and the ball was knocked out by Chestnut from behind. Duke Chestnut came. Deuce Chestnut came from behind the play, knocked the ball out. The Marlo only question there as well. Yeah, the only question is was his knee down before the ball came out? Here's Brady Denneberg with the kickoff. Will Shipley will bring it back. He returned 169 yards last week at Florida State, the second half kickoff, and that's set up a touchdown on the very next play gives them very good field position here a one two punch very different styles Maffa remains the running back and he got enough for the first down third down and one perhaps four down territory if they need it they don't Shipley slides through to the 41 yard line Significant size advantage for the Tigers. Uyunglele pulled it down. They're not very big, but they're stout. Under five to go till halftime. The option, Uyunglele lunges, and it is going to be close. Schrader in the single coverage, caught far sideline, first down. 12-yard gain, first down. Sean Tucker turns the corner. Wow. Sean Tucker has another first down. This is what makes him so versatile. Out of the backfield, getting the block. Hands are on the inside on Sheridan. Westfield was an off-the-field assistant for the defensive staff. Schrader has running room and speed. Schrader inside the 15 and out of bounds. I mean, he sees some grass, but Jeremiah Trotter, number 54, has an angle on him. The middle linebacker coming right there, but Schrader's speed outran the angle. And it's a big play for the quarterback. Wes Hull has come in at fullback, and nothing doing on the run there. John Tucker stacked up for a loss of the play. Schrader had to go up to get this to his left. That disrupted Clemson, the timing of the handoff. 
Shifted Max Mang, the other tight end of the backfield. Schrader takes off running. Schrader for the pylon. Touchdown. Syracuse. Scramble. Look, he's looking left. He's looking to Gadsden. It's not there. He knows he's got a lane, and he knows he's got the toughness to get to the pylon. And Garrett Schrader gets in the end zone. Well, the coaches describe him as a baller, and I think that is dead on. Lunging for the pile and a touchdown. The defense has scored once, and Schmidt makes it a 14-point lead. Quick slant catch. Good catch by Antonio Williams. The ball a little bit behind him, as Brandon Streeter told us. With a minute soft. and a half to go. Yeah, soft coverage so far. I would expect Syracuse to tighten up a little bit. Here's Ngata weaving through the traffic, and he's upended. Uliangalale has completed seven in a row. Weird-looking play. It's supposed to be a handoff. Yeah, he missed simply it. didn't yeah. know it. Coached Tony White when he was in college. They've coached together. Uliangalale running out of time, and he goes down. Swung down. Back at the 32-yard line. Offensive well, end. Well, this is on DJ. He's got to get rid of the football. First of all, he bobbles it, and that's maybe why he didn't throw it away. But you cannot take a sack here. It's a three-man rush. You've got five blockers. If it's not there, either run it or throw it away. But he lost control of the football. And when that happens... Four wide receivers. Uyunglele checks it down for Shipley. And he stopped at the 26. B.T. Potter, a 44-yard try. And it is good. I think his third stop, right? Yeah, he went to do it from here. Bui Ungalale tripped up when it looked like he might break away. He's to the 40. There's a deep throw for Williams, and it's broken up. Good rally to the ball. Good kick. Hing is going to let it bounce, and it goes out of bounds inside the five. He's the son of the former Philadelphia Eagle. Schrader, great fake to Tucker, and another first down. Respect Tucker, right? So watch the defense flow with Tucker on the fake. Schrader doesn't rush it, sells it, sells it. Linebackers are all flowing with Tucker, and they leave the quarterback wide open. I remember this linebacking core playing without Barrett. Second and 15. Schrader giving a nice pocket, running out of time. Here's another flag, and Schrader's down inside the 10. Excellent coverage downfield by Clemson. Dabo did confirm he got after them at halftime of that game at Chestnut Hill. Schrader just wants to get out of the end zone, running for his life and dropped. Much more spirited defense. That's Trenton Simpson. Clemson blocked four kicks this year. Third in the country. And this is a bomb. Antonio Williams way back to his 44 to field it. Now comes back to the near side, picks up a block. And a nifty return. The ball, Antonio Williams changes his direction. He's going to break a couple tackles. But watch Makuba number one. Instead of getting the illegal blindside block, he just stops and stands in front of the defender. And Clemson in business. We're watching ESPN College Football on AB. Active winning streak. They've won 37 straight at home. Tied for the longest in ACC history. Trying well, to come from behind. And Shipley is fumbled. They turn it over for the third time. Power. <laughs> Defender's going to come from the inside. He's got the ball protected. That looks like Rob Hanna, number 19, that knocks it out. His second big play. Wow. Turnovers were the story in the first half. And Before Syracuse stopped them on downs in the second quarter. And the crowd was engaged. The defense makes another huge play, and now it's Sean Tucker. Schrader throws, and it's incomplete off of Devon Cooper, who couldn't make a sliding catch, would have had a first down.
with a chance to gain a lot of that yardage back. Both punters have been excellent. Swanson had that big one moments ago that went out of bounds at the four. This is a good kick on third down and three. Three-man rush. He goes deep down the middle, too high, and intercepted. Trying to get it to Jake Brinningstool. DJ does not read this safety. He thinks the middle of the field is going to be open, but the safety moves here. This is a post-snap read that DJ misses. He floats it down the middle of the field. He did not read the middle safety, and you never throw late down the middle, especially with a middle safety, and that time Simmons really bait Of the season, second of his career. He had one last year. Schrader in trouble. And a loss on the play. Schrader forced to pull it down. Schrader fires, oh. almost intercepted. That would have been the first takeaway for Clemson. Get you a spark, going a little tempo here with their offense. Good play fake, not a great throw, but didn't got to make the catch. Yes, he did. A first down for Clemson. Right in between the hole, between the corner and the safety. Does not got to get under there, or does the ground help him make the catch to get some chunk yardage plays? Shipley powers those legs and try to get something going here. Second and 14. We're ticking down close to two minutes in the third quarter. Klubnik taken down for a huge loss by Steve Linton. Now he's going to have a guard coming out to help him right here. But he's got to read the block and stop and allow the guard to make the block. Pull up right there inside the block and try to make the throw. After an initial spark, they've got to reverse. Klubnik against the three-man rush on third and 25. Across the line of scrimmage, and he gets hit out of bounds, and here comes the flag. Wow. A terrible penalty. Syracuse crowding the line of scrimmage. Quarterback draw. Great call by Brandon Streeter. One of the things Streeter told us earlier in the year about Klubnik, he is very good. Third down and goal from just inside the two. Mafa to the goal line. Crowd thinks it's a touchdown. The officials say no. Behind Klubnik. Shifts to the left of Klubnik. Fourth and goal. Mafa has a touchdown. Right tackle. Watch these two guys right here just get a great double team at the point of attack. And Mafa's going to follow him right into the end zone. They took advantage of the bonehead penalties by Syracuse, and they get the touchdown. And that's why DJ Uyunglele is still clock, one of your primary seconds, leaders. Please. Big two-point try. Klubnik running out of time. Trying to scramble away. He stays on his feet, running out of time again. Throws it up for grabs. Batted around and intercepted. Very effective in the first half. They kind of gone away from that. Just dropping back and throwing it. Throwing it over the middle. Car. There's Gadsden. There is a flag down, however, back in the offensive backfield. The rush well picked up. Schrader running out of room. Trotter had a hand on him, and he pushed him out of bounds. It's an incomplete pass, I believe, before. Laid out of bounds, so I could have seen the foul there. Max Monmarberg, his punt handled by Antonio Williams, and he's thrown down immediately. It's not called. Very interesting. One was called, one was not. And here's Klubnik on first down. He gets 11. I think one of the reasons Clemson going tempo is because of a lack of depth on this defense. And here goes Shipley. They could not get him down. On a 50-yard touchdown run by Will Shipley. By McDonald and a bad angle by the safety, Justin Barrett. Here's the missed tackle. Unblocked guy, can't make the tackle. And a bad angle by Barrett, underestimating the speed of Shipley. And just like that, Clemson takes the lead. On the longest run against Syracuse this season, a 50-yard scamper. 
by Shipley, three yards short of the longest of his career. Really doesn't do you much good. Three-point lead, a field goal obviously can only tie you. Right. Club Nick, he's been on the field for two possessions, two touchdowns, and now a beautiful throw to the back line of the end zone for the two points to Joseph Ngata. As his quarterback scrambled, you can't even see Ngata, but he's going to show up right in here as his quarterback scrambles. He's going to uncover on the back line of the goal line. Great elusiveness by Klubnik. He finds and got in the back of the end zone, and they convert on the two-point. He's working on Isaiah Johnson, the new starter at corner, and Klubnik, the baller. He's got to get his team organized again. Here goes Tucker bursting through. Great way to start. Got to believe this safety is going to come over and help on Gadsden. What was that play? Schrader faked the handoff, and Brian Brzee dumped it for a loss. Apparently going to take a handoff, or at least was the faker on that play. Well, Brzee is going to make that little move, and the right tackle, Dakota Davis, misses him. He's late getting there to cut off Brzee. Took over for an ineffective. DJ Uwe Young on the leg. Maffa, tough run. And we keep saying. Klubnik, short throw and almost intercepted. Dangerous throw out wide. Low snap handled by Swanson. And another beautiful kick. But room for Pena on the catch. And well covered by Clemson. you got to believe they're going to Gadsden here if they can get the, the coverage. Two defenders moving that way for Clemson. Third down and 11. Schrader. Flush, Schrader, runs away, has a long way to go, and gets nowhere near. Syracuse, down to four minutes to go, waits till two seconds on the play clock to snap it. With the game clock running, Antonio Williams makes the fair catch. After the penalty for the hold, plus field position for... Clemson on offense. Syracuse has all three timeouts left. Will Shipley. Numbers you saw for Shipley's total yardage, receiving and rushing. And Klubnik got stopped in his tracks. He's going to have to come off the field. And Syracuse has used its first timeout. Yeah, they missed both guys on the end. I mean, Okachukwu's helmet was pulled off by his own Time man. Out. Just Jadius Gear Syracuse. pulled the helmet off. First He'll try that have hurt themselves. And they didn't get the call on the apparent late yep. hit out of bounds by Clemson on Trotter, who hit Schrader. Klubnik just throwing it up for grabs in the end zone. Flag down in the end zone. Third down and three. Must stop situation for Syracuse. Davis Allen the catch. And it looks like... Looks trying to get them to jump offside with that move. Syracuse didn't jump. Potter's kick is good. He just needed a spark. I think Klubnik gave him that. And the running game in the offensive line took over in the second half. But again, shades of 2018, yeah. right? They don't have that receiver. And they bring pressure! And Schrader gets blasted by K.J. Henry. Or though, this is the first down play. This is Max Mang blocking on K.J. Henry. He t sets too wide, he takes a, a bad position, and he allows his quarterback to get drilled. I mean, right now, you have to protect your quarterback. If you're Garrett Schrader, you got to throw it away and not to take a sack. Schrader going deep, and is it a catch? No, the officials looked at each other as Damian Alford. Sideline, they got plenty of help in making the call. I think he caught the ball, but landed out of bounds. You can see the right foot landed out of bounds. It was a heck of an effort by Alper on the back shoulder throw. Class under further review. Well, right there, the ball's in his hand. Yeah, made the catch, but I think the right foot landed out of bounds. What an effort by Alford. I don't know. I think it, it's his left Last second wins against Virginia on a field goal, Purdue on a touchdown. That's Gadsden. How big is that right now? 
Schrader checks it out. down. Pucker out of the witness protection program and has a first down. 43 seconds to go. Schrader can't take a sack. Go the middle and incomplete, says the back judge. 35 seconds to go. Gadsden has it. 30 yard line. Now the clock is running. First and 10, Syracuse. Schrader throws in a traffic and intercepted. Gadsden catch another ball. Watch, there are three defenders. They're going to have eyes on Gadsden. They are not going to let him catch the football again. They circle him, they have eyes on the quarterback, and they slip right inside. Garrett Schrader was looking one place and one place only to throw the football. As you said, Wes Goodwin and all these Clemson defenders knew. You know, when you size up Syracuse, really not a lot of weapons at the wide receiver position. His second interception of the season. They take an A. And they have the longest home winning streak in the history of the Atlantic Coast Conference.